It's going to be a push today on the ice. Okay, buckle down, lift each other up, and compete. That's what the coaches want to see, so let's give them that. You guys are good with that? Yeah. Excellent. Let's line it up. Once now that we're kind of getting closer to the season, the goal is just to maintain the strength and power or speed that we've kind of built up throughout the offseason. Spring and summer is where a lot of the work gets done. Um, their skating volume's low, so we get to kind of hammer in here. Let's put a little zip on it, fellas. Wake it up. Boom, squeeze. Good. Nice and smooth. Good. Ooh, boom. There you go. Nice. Come on. Yep. Doesn't have to be crazy. There you go. Nice and smooth. There it is. I like that. I like that. What do we got for the camera? Good Tuesday practice. Good Tuesday Seriously, practice. Yeah. You heard it. You heard it from the man himself. He said good Tuesday practice. I asked what do you have for the camera. <laughs> it's easy to lose track of the dates, but since it is already October, attention shifts to hockey. But the Badgers have been locked in for months. This summer, I was still skating a lot, but uh, the gym is where I kind of wanted to focus in. I mean, it seemed to work. I'm up 10 pounds. The weight room has been a big focus for me, and Paul Ava Lucas has been awesome for me, and just kind of putting that extra 5, 10 pounds on in the summer just to get myself, um, you know, that extra playing weight, corner weight, we call it. It's not about how far I can reach back. It's what is my hip doing. We do have a unique sport where guys are flying around at 20 miles an hour, basically on a quarter inch of steel, and hitting each other into a wall. And so you have guys that are 6'5", you have guys that are 5'8", and so you have a huge range of athletes and style of athletes. And so they kind of have to be the ultimate generalist. Is that it? Smooth. That's better. We have to kind of find this balance of like, they have to be strong enough to be on their skates. They have to be strong in their upper body, take the hits that they're going to take. But then they also have to be incredibly well conditioned. And I, everybody's different, so what one guy might make in gains between year one or year two or year three, or year four or whatever it is, is gonna be completely different than someone else, right? So I don't, I try not to compare, you know, athlete one to athlete two, but rather just look at, okay, what is the trend line overall? And is that trend line going up or is that trend line going down? So your data, buddy, we can look at whenever you want. You are really lucky here at Wisconsin. We got a lot of resources and it's basically on us as strength coaches and support staff to make sure that A, we're using those resources and B, using the data from the resources to help guide our programming. Whether that's looking at a guy's muscle mass comparatively to other guys in his position or his power output on force plates or what he came in at his first year to his second year to his third year and then on top of that, the style of play that maybe the coaches want them to play. Good, nice and smooth, good. Being able to check it after practice and see how hard of a load we had during during the skate or whatever. Uh, I mean, it's pretty cool just to understand what your body needs and the kind of nutrition you also have to take into account after. Any program, if it's coached well, is gonna lead to, I think, good adaptation. And if it's coached poorly, you're gonna get negative adaptations. And so we're here, it's our job as strength coaches and support staff to give our athletes the best experience that they possibly can. And if I'm not, coaching them up those little nitpicky details and helping them understand why we're doing it, I feel like we're doing them a disservice. There you go. Good. Feel a little bit in the obliques. Give me that little opposite tension. That way, a little bit of activation there. He's gotten a lot of guys really, really strong, and, and I have a lot of faith in them, and I think everybody else just has a lot of trust in them. He really gets everybody dialed in, and we really just enjoy being around the weight room with them, and you know, I have so much respect for him, and I love the energy he brings into the weight room every day. Rhythm there, rhythm, bands, rhythm. There you go. With their groove going in the weight room, the Badgers wasted no time translating it to the ice with a new plan of attack for the 2022-23 season. There's uh, a part of our game that we want to focus on, what we're going to do in the offensive zone this year. The game of hockey can't work unless you're willing to work your bag off. So we can make this a staple of what we are as a team, do things right in the offensive zone, it goes into the neutral zone, it goes into the D-zone coverage, and the game comes easy. This gives us a really good chance to work on a lot of things in the next few weeks to be ready for the season. So lots of our practices in the next few weeks will have lots of one-on-one -on -one competition battles, we'll have keep-away games, and things where you got to learn to protect the puck. I got middle, I got middle. Go, 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 go. A lot of energy with the new guys. You can tell everybody's excited the way we've been practicing. 
talking about it collectively as a group in the locker room, it feels like we're kind of on a new wavelength, kind of on that new standard of we have that chip on our shoulder now, we have that compete factor. And I think like we kind of brought that mindset as leaders, like you got to earn it every single day, right? Like it's kind of that Badger hockey standard of just really competing really hard every day, pushing each other because at the end of the day, you know, no one's going to make me better besides my teammates in practice. So we're kind of relying on each other to push us in that way. Cowboys, 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 Cowboys. I feel like there's an understanding within the room that this season, you know, every season is important, but this one especially is, is pretty big for this program to, to get back going in the direction you want to. Yes, absolutely, and we talk about it in that way, but again, I think Dom and, and kind of the rest of our leadership group have been doing a great job of being like, hey, like, don't take it as a, as a you know, do or die situation. Like, we, we want to enjoy it, right? It's, yeah. This is the best four years of your life playing hockey here, so we really want to just enjoy each day and enjoy pushing each other, enjoy competing, enjoy maybe getting bag skated or, or getting knocked on your butt every day. Like, so, so we're kind of just trying to find the, the fun times out of it because it's really going to be a good journey for us and a long one, too.